Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video tour. Today we're taking a look at a brand new 2024 Shadow Cruiser 250 BHS travel trailer. This is a one slide out bunkhouse travel trailer. We're going to take a few minutes, walk you through the inside and outside of this beautiful new RV, show you what this thing's all about, and then at the end we're going to go in, close it up for you as well, show you what it looks like closed. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, we are now up inside the brand new 2024 Shadow Cruiser 250 BHS travel trailer here. As you've seen on the floor plan that was up, this is a smaller bunkhouse travel trailer with a slide. We're going to get started back here in the back section. We'll kind of work our way forward for you. So you do have two bunks back here, kind of oversized bunks. There's a light window that opens, AC duct back here. Top bunks rated for 300 pounds. Window back there opens. Again, another light back there. And then there's some storage underneath this part down here. Back here on the right side, you have a doorknob that locks, by the way. You have your bathroom area. So up top, you're going to have a little vent fan. There's AC duct up there. Madison cabinet. Decent amount of counter space for an RV bathroom. A little bit of shelf space and some storage underneath the sink there as well. You have a foot flush toilet. Step in shower with an ABS tub surround. Pull across curtain area there. Skylight up above. Then above the toilet itself here, there's a little shelf space here with a little uh, towel holder. But not bad when it comes to a bathroom on a smaller RV. Pretty decent size. Now kitchen wise, you're gonna have the roughly 10.7 cubic foot nor cold refrigerator, freezer on top, refrigerator part on bottom. Below the refrigerator is the electric box with the breakers and fuses and a heat duct as well. Now over here on the oven and cooktop, you're going to have a little different setup. They're using an air fryer oven. So it's a little different than your traditional RV oven that you're used to seeing. It does have the light in there. There's also a couple other little uh, cooking things that come in here as well. They're in a box. Um, you have the little light-up knobs, three burner gas stove top there. And you have the little flip-down glass lid. So when you're not using it, you can have a little more counter space. Hood range light and fan, traditional microwave. Window back there does open. You got that high rise faucet. Some storage up above. For your sink area, you're going to have a large undermount sink. And you're going to have some storage and drawer space below the counter as well. Looking down our ceiling area here, you can see your ducted Coleman AC. Over here on the slide, you do have the matching lino on the slide floor. So it gives it a really nice continuous look there. The dinette will go down, make into a bed, so you could sleep an extra guest there. And there's storage underneath of the dinette seats as well. The end ones here do have a little flip up system, so you can get to that. And you have a little pantry area here, a little motion light back there, but a pretty good amount of storage right there. You have pull down nightshades on most of the windows. You'll have a traditional metal mini blind over here on the uh, kitchen window. Little storage space here, stereo system right there, and then you can do a TV if you want when ordering it from the factory, or you can get your own if you're looking for a more higher end, a nicer TV. I would definitely recommend getting your own, but some people like to get it right from the RV factory with the RV. Up here, you have prepping for the Gateway Connect. 
So the unit has the WineGuard Air 360 Plus antenna on it. The plus kind of meaning that it can have uh, internet Wi-Fi capability added to it. Basically, you buy the little Gateway Connect, subscribe to like Verizon or AT&T or one of those guys, and be able to take internet with you. Master bedroom is going to be right up here. You're going to have hanging closet on each side, some overhead cabinet space as well. There is USB charger ports back there, a little shelf back there as well, and you got a hole in the side so you could maybe set your you know phone, charge it back there, or you know your drink or whatever you might want to put back there. The bed will raise up. There's storage underneath of there that's probably about five inches deep or so, and then it's kind of hollowed out to where you can push stuff underneath of it as well. Electric outlet there is also prepped, inverter prepped basically, uh, which would allow you to add an inverter to the RV and basically use battery power for electricity if you wanted to. Electric outlet and uh, cable outlet up there. So you could do your small TV up here if you wanted. There's a backer kind of in between the doors here. If you wanted to kind of mount one on a swing arm, kind of sticking out a little bit. On the uh, side of the counter down there, you have your propane leak detector. There is the fire extinguisher. And then you're going to have awning in and out buttons, slide buttons, some light switches, water heater, gas, electric buttons, and your modern panel for your holding tanks and stuff. But overall, a pretty nice um, smaller bunkhouse travel trailer. And this one comes in under 5,700 pounds. I think this one, let's see here on the sticker, says it was 5,631 pounds the way it came in. You have screen door, large folding entry handle there. You do have the nicer, heavier duty more ride step. Window does, or the entry door there does have a window in it. So white fiberglass exterior attached to the upgraded Asdale composite material, which is a really nice improvement for RV construction. You also have deep tent safety glass windows, lower black metal skirting, some vinyl graphics. Power awning here with an LED light strip built in, adjustable arms for tilting, manual override in the front arm head in case of an electronic failure. Large pass-through storage compartment up here in the front. Pretty nicely finished off on the front section here. It's going to have a solar disconnect button here. Also has prepping for the tire link monitoring system. You can buy that aftermarket, just plugs in right there and you put the little caps on, allowing you to monitor your tires. Uh, some motion lights in here as well. And this was also ordered with the solar package, so you have a solar charge controller here also. And then inverter prep up here, in case you wanted to add an inverter. You can see some of that aluminum tube framing up there as well. You do have heavy duty scissor jacks for stabilizing the RV. Dual axle unit, drum brakes, easy lube hubs, aluminum wheels. Just down in front of your axles, there's hot and cold low point water drains. Furnace exhaust out here, couple outdoor speakers, stove vent up there, gravity fill fresh water tank right here. You have cable outlet and electric outlet in case you wanted to set a TV up out here on a nice day. Suburban griddle little electric mini fridge, some shelf space here. Gas line hookup down here as well. There's actually two of them. The uh, little pet friendly leash latch holder there as well. You'll also notice looking at the rear end here, it has a really nice high arch to that roof line for water runoff and stuff. Definitely like that part, so it's not a traditional almost kind of flat roof. You also have uh, prepping for the Lippert portable stow and go ladder up there. And you also have prepping for the Furion rear observation camera. Definitely a nice safety feature to consider adding. That gas electric water heater back here, cold water spray port back here as well. Traditional four inch square tube bumper.
on around to this side, you're gonna have your dump area back here for your gray and black tank. So down there, handles are pretty easy to get to. Detachable power cord. We have uh, satellite and cable prep along with uh, city water inlet, black tank flush, and another cold water spray port right here as well. It's kind of nice they put two cold water spray ports on it, having one over by your kitchen area, but one back here in case you accidentally make a mess. It's easier to clean up. Slide out is an electric slide. You push a button, it goes in and out. Pretty nice and easy. Um, one thing you might also consider on a slide is a slide out awning cover. They're really nice. They roll in and out with the slides, just kind of helping uh, help shade the room, repels a lot of water, leaves, twigs, debris, that type of stuff. So definitely consider doing that. Just the other side of the storage area here. And then you got some really important informational stickers right here. So for example, this is the production date sticker telling me the RV was built 1024 of 23, has a gross vehicle weight of 7,650 pounds. That's axle weight, hitch weight, everything combined. Don't exceed that number. Tire sticker here telling us we have ST20575R14 D range tires with a 65 PSI cold rating. Uh, very important to keep up with your tire pressure when traveling with these RVs. On the front side here, you're going to have that fiberglass front cap with a lower metal skirting. You have two 20 pound propane tanks, auto changeover regulator, hard bottle cover, power tongue jack. There is a battery disconnect back here and room for one or two batteries depending on the size of the batteries you go with. And it has a 2 and 5 16 titch ball, heavy duty safety chains, seven way Bargman wiring plug. But overall, a really nice look for the new 2024 Shadow Cruiser. Now I want to show you what this thing looks like closed here real quick. So let's close it up. Stepping inside. Very, very important before you close this thing to make sure your slide out or your main subfloor is clean. You don't want any accidental you know, pebbles or anything that might have come off your shoes to get trapped between the slide floor and your subfloor and damage your linoleum. But you're basically just pushing this button. The thing tilts up a little bit and comes straight in and then goes straight back out. Pretty easy to do as long as you got a good battery uh, or at least be plugged in. You should be able to run this thing in and out. Pretty simple. Having a good battery is pretty important if you're boondock camping or something. You hear that little ratchety noise, just kind of slip gear system, letting you know that it's all the way in. But even with this thing closed, I can still use the whole RV. So I could come back here if I'm stopping at a rest area or something, use my bathroom. If I'm stopping at the grocery store, need to load my pantry or my refrigerator or something, I could do so. I can even come into my bedroom and climb over and use the bed. Either, you know, not real bad tough to squeeze through that part unless you're pretty skinny that's not me unfortunately but uh you know still pretty usable all closed up and then just hit the button and take it right on back out now as always folks please remember to check out the folks at couches rv nation guys they are one of the largest internet discount dealers in the country they're definitely going to save you a lot of money on a new rv if you're interested also, if you don't mind, please remember to hit that like button down below. Definitely helps out my channel. Thanks again.